Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're in Trogir, Croatia, one of the little yachting towns. Well, not little yachting town. It's a big yachting town. A lot, a lot of yachts and a lot of boats here. And today we're going to give you just some things you can see and do when you are in Trogir. And it's just a little small island. It's like 900 meters by 600 meters. It is pretty small. So it's easy to walk around and stuff like that. So I'll just make this a quick video. Main things you can see. One, you can see these little castles. There's one little fortress here. There's another fortress right over there you can check out. This one, the bigger one, the first one you can actually go inside and see stuff. The other one over there, there's a little restaurant on top or a cafe on top you can go to sometimes. So that's kind of nice. But what you really want to see when you come here, you want to go into the city. When you go into the city, you're going to see the cathedral there. And when you go inside the cathedral, what you're going to see is a lot of stone, some stonework and some really like one of the, the side chapel. Oh, it is just quite beautiful. You can go and see St. Jacob's kind of votive in the baptistry check that out but it really is it is that gateway that you come when you come in is just spectacular if you look at the tower the bell tower you'll see the different ages of the building of the cathedral so you can see the different types that are out there you know from gothic to renaissance it is quite cool other things you want to do when you are here it's a small town so you just kind of wander through the little tiny streets and 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 eat and drink and make merry when you are here there's not much else to do i mean it, most of the cruise ships stop here for two hours three hours and that is plenty of time to see everything they do have a little city museum you can check out which is okay also you can see you go to one of the the benedictine monastery and they have the this stone relief of kairos the youngest son of zeus which you'll see they have all around town they'll sell in all kinds of different forms here so you can see that but really it's just one of these towns you kind of wander through i do recommend taking a tour guide because it is kind of small so the tour guide can really explain a lot of the stuff for example when you go through one of the reasons why this city is kind of famous culturally is you'll see the buildings and they built you know pathways connecting two different buildings to kind of build the houses up because it's such a small island they couldn't build out they could only build up so you can see that also you'll be able to see a lot of the Venetian influence when you are here across like on the main square across from the cathedral you'll see those things there but you will notice that they actually don't have a line of Saint Mark because when Mussolini was coming in the 30s they actually destroyed it to kind of like say screw you we don't want to be a part of your craziness. So that, that is kind of a cool thing. But anyway, it's a nice little island to check out. I mean, it'll take you a couple hours. Just make sure you get on your tender before you leave because since this is a kind of a fancier, dancier place with the yachts and stuff like that, it's a little bit more pricey. So you don't want to get stuck here overnight. But you can get here from Split pretty easily. It's not that far away. You can also rent boats when you're here. You can rent like big ones, like the ones over there. Or you can rent small ones that like a guy like me could drive, or, you know, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, just a little thing on, on Trojir here in Croatia. And I know I'm saying it wrong, but it's a really nice little place. Good for a couple hours, three hours, then on your way.